fields move and history is made by a very small number of extraordinary people. And I've been pursuing you for this for about three years now. I don't know how many letters I wrote you. Yeah. He is the most worldwide famous physician the world has ever known. Michael Ellis de Bailey, 57 years old, surgeon to the royalty of Europe and the royalty of Hollywood. When I think of who the great people are in medicine that uh, have lived in my lifetime, uh, Mike DeBakey comes to mind almost immediately. Dr. DeBakey, could you dis uh, could you describe to us um, your your rise in your career, so, uh, starting from like how my what my so own your career? Yeah, in your own career. <laughs> we don't have time for that. <laughs> I was born of, of parents that gave me a, an exceptional upbringing, particularly in, in so-called Judeo-Christian values. These are the dreamers, the builders, the men and women who are the heroes of the modern age. To make his old teacher at Tulane Medical School, Dr. Alton Oxner, a great heart surgeon himself, remembers his old pupil as an even-tempered perfectionist. Today, however, DeBakey has a reputation for a famous temper. Like, let's say we're operating here, and all of a sudden I get my head kind of in, in the light there. Would, <laughs> would, would that bother him at all, or not, not really? <laughs> well, I don't know what's wrong with you and your intelligence if you got your head between the light and the wound. This is the man who's the innovator, the man for whom they recognize the reason people stay alive with heart failure today. How would you compare the Brigham and Methodist? Well, as he said to me one time when I was pointing out how difficult it had been to do some of these things, he said, well, you know, we don't have that trouble with Baylor. And he said, you know, when I want to do something, I first consult the chief of surgery. And he said, of course, that's me. And then I have to discuss it with the dean. And he said, of course, that's me. And then I have to worry about the medical center and the chancellor of the medical center is me. So he said, we don't have a lot of trouble getting things done. When a poet or a child says, my heart is singing, we know exactly what he means. That more hearts will sing and fewer die is the mission of men like Michael Ellis DeBakey. It, it would be really nice to uh, have uh, more time in life than you have. There's so much more that needs to be done <laughs> after you get what you have done. How about yourself? Would you mind telling us your age? My age? I'm 95. And do you have any retirement plans for the future? No. Well, my retirement plans are in the hands of God. 